now. The stadium lights for Tiso, they burn. When you see me here, and we have all the things we have now, creature comforts, they call them, in the Western world. And because we can buy now, any Mercedes Benz we can get to. There is enough money to just go to any inventory in this country of any car garage and buy all of them. And leave and tell them start again. But when we started, I used to look at a master. Some rubbish master. Not the one you have. Some rubbish one. I pray to God, God, if you love me. Who knew? I would be sitting there with three Lamborghinis. But what made this say there? What made me stay? Fire was burning in my bones. There was a word in my spirit. A word for more. I know you are not hearing what I'm saying. Bishop Oyedepo. Bishop Oyedepo, when he started, nothing. He had to move out of the town because there was, he had to go to another location. When he got there, out of the town, I don't know how many kilometers, I'm talking about tens of kilometers, out of Lagos, going that direction, to a swampy area, and he started. Now, the building is building, is over 400 million US dollars. And there was no fundraising in the church. A man came and said, I have 10 million, sir. Here's my 10 million, please. I want to sow towards the building. He said, no, I don't need your 10 million. The money is already paid for. The building is paid for. You can't add anything now. Huh? 10 million. I know, I know what you're thinking now. Why tell the guy we don't need it? Just take it. No. He said, as for this building, you can't add anything. No millions will do anything to this building. We've already paid. We are already fully done. Huh? But the builders are still building. We have more than enough. There it is. He did not start there. Say, he didn't start there. When you see Uber Angel here, you think we arrived just yesterday and we're here now. No, this is why we have many sons and daughters who are failing ministry because they saw us at this level and thought we started at this level. Yet there was a fire that kept us burning. Ah. My father was rich according to his level of rich in his area. I don't have a story where we were broke and I was having problems paying school fees. I don't have that problem. So some prophets can have that system and, 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 and have that story. I don't. My parents were not broke. But notice here. I got to a point when I was detached by age from my parents that I was now on my own. Now in that moment, it is just the two of you. Me and my wife. Do you know, did I even tell you that there was a time where I wasn't working and it was my wife working? For a whole year. I was getting fed by my wife. So if you think you can sashay into my office and become the first lady of spirit and stop. Tofia <laughs> kwa over my dead body. If baby angel dies today, we will go past the grave and say, first lady, no spiritual mother to replace her. Never. Ah. But because you don't know it, you think you can just jump tricks and boom, you are there. No. There was a fire we kept. As my wife would say, if God said we are starting a ministry, let's start. You concentrate on the ministry. I work. Everything we eat here, the rent will be coming from me. One year. You just arrive. Say, I'm here. If you look at the girl next to you and she's not smiling. Mm -hmm. One 
One time, one time she came, to, she, when she arrived in Britain, she arrived in a place called Ipswich and I had to get her to Manchester uh, at the residence of Evangelist Lee, my brother, and got her to Manchester where I was staying. When we got there, I remember we got a job somewhere. We were working there and I would go early in the morning. Are you getting this? I, I, I'll get it. Be, she would go to work early in the morning. Early where? In the morning. Until six finishes work. And I'll start work at eight in the evening. We only met on Sunday. You see now? When we come out here and you move there, just a few years back, I went to Lanzaria Airport, bought two jets. Two. No, no, no. Let me say something. I bought one. One. You understand? One. Millions. One. On my way out, the guy who was marketing the thing said, no, sir, sir, wait. Uh, since you bought that one, the same guy is also selling this one. On my way out. You can just buy, I'll give you a discount. I said, no problem. Edit. Who is there to tell you that at that time I was praying for a master? This video has actually blessed you and um, actually helped you see things in a different perspective also. And um, I believe this has been a blessing to you. And if you're new here, also like, share and subscribe. All right. God bless you.